Southern Missouri Off-Road Ranch in Seymour, Missouri. Welcome to the Great American Crawl. Big staging area, Saturday morning, at S'more, beginners, advanced, we got everything here. Come out, it's not just for Bill Riggs. What do we got? I'm ready to get at it, man. We're getting ready to start the driver's meeting in a few minutes. Pulled the rain out of forecast. Nothing but sunshine. Gonna be a good day, buddy. This weekend, I think Andy did a fantastic job kind of linking up with all the trail guys, the trail leads, and uh, had it all planned perfectly. So in the morning, everyone got lined up, had their lead to go, had knew where to go, had their trails picked out, and we're just ready to rip. Jason took us out again. I think the whole team managed to stay together and what was a, a what we thought was a manageable size group and we headed out for um, True Grit. True Grit is a, it's a long trail. Uh, there's no bypasses. Yeah. I mean, it's not like once you get in, you're like, eh, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around. It's kind of hard to jockey yourself around there. And it's challenging when it's dry. And It's never dry. I don't know it, where you think that it is. It's dry. challenging when it's drier than it oh. normally is okay. yesterday. All right, or well, I'll take that. Uh, well, I have maybe an eighth of what Jason has for power, so uh, I kind of have to. Uh, hold it further down and I got to start way further back. You come to that tree that kind of kind of angles out towards the trail. And if you aren't paying attention or going slow enough, it is for sure going to roll you right into, into that, that tree. tree. I mean, I have to pivot off of it because I'm so wide. Yeah, so here, uh, especially with it being so slick and the rain and everything, uh, I've definitely had to find the throttle a little bit more. And I've getting a, gotten a bit more comfortable with that. The first set of ledges that you come up was doable. I think everybody, I don't think anybody had to pull cable on the first set of ledges. No. Really, that's just a little bit of momentum. I think when you came through, I'm like, Bill knows about it, but we aren't gonna say anything, we aren't gonna warn him, and hopefully he's gonna screw his cage up. That's yeah. what we were hoping that, for. <laughs> yeah. 
me and Nick were sitting there like, man, maybe he just just <laughs> tears whole side. One of these days, man. You know what? You know what I said after that trail. You know what I said? I said, when we get back, I'm gonna punch freaking Andy right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around, mud, everywhere. Inside your Jeep too, carpet. Oh, I love it. Second ledge, and that one, um, yeah. that one needs um, yeah, yeah, port a, a, a slight increase in momentum from the the one before that. Right, right. Yeah, twice. Made it twice. Made it, it twice. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Right at the last second, I'm like, why am I not going anywhere? And I look at the stick shift and I'm like, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't think we'll do it. It's fine. Sometimes I get a little intimidated following yeah. some of these big guys around, but it keeps it interesting and it really pushes my capabilities and my vehicle's capabilities. So it was a lot of fun. from two to one ledge this time, except they combined and made one. Um, so it's just as tall. Finally gave up on it, backed out, took the bypass and uh, bypassed my way into a tree uh, and smashed up my A-pillar. Like one, two, three, even four. The fifth one, let's that's an issue. That's crazy. Oops. That's the Scotch mirror has uh she's been a trooper this weekend. <laughs> it looks like a fly's eye now.
I would pull up, but I would stay back like three foot around the ledge and just put it in second. Yeah. Hammer down. Hammer down. I was trying to push that pedal all the way through the floorboard. And I pulled up through there and Cam's like, <laughs> well, everybody else back here for 10 minutes, you just, whoop. how did Diana do on it? She sent it. <laughs> she sent it. Driving that Jeep, dude. finally made our way down and and uh, I said well I'm gonna head down to Copperhead because you were down there they need a bigger parking area down there denied again Rock buggy. Yeah. He made it. Yeah, he hit it. One of my favorite parts of that, though, was when you came around and people are like, what's Bill doing? I go, oh, he's a hell try it. They're like, no. I go, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like surprised. I'm like, I know. I'm like, <laughs> Everybody kept saying doe skid. I was like, what is doe skid? They're like, oh, it's just like one pretty good ledge. The rest of it's kind of fun. And I was like, oh, okay. And they're like, we can just like winch you up the ledge, no big deal. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. Well, Jason, our trail guide, had that broken rear shaft. So I left him my Jeep so he could continue leading the guys around. And then I just drove his Jeep back so we could start everything here. We were back here. Cooking. Chef Boy Ardin. Yeah. Yeah. What we do? Throwing meat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Slanging sausage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea why I went there. Straight up. This is a six right now. Like, I have no business being on this at all. So we ended up just hooking up a winch line at the top, and I just, like, winched my way all the way up. And then after that, the rest of the trail was pretty fun.
lot of things on 40s. 40s are good tires, uh, but that obstacle is not made for 40s. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big tire obstacle. Is it easier to pull this way or go that way? I would go that way. All right, Alex, go in. I've ever put my foot to the floor on an obstacle but that one I did because I I know I was close on other obstacles but that one it felt like I was gonna get it I give all the beans to it and she just we couldn't do it so it was still fun either way I gave it some, some little juicy juice and uh, it took me probably two or three attempts until it finally bopped me up and over. So That made me feel a lot better because I'm like, well, if Alex is struggling, then, you know, it's not that. Excuse me. <laughs> A lot of articulation after that there was um, like banks that you'd come through and they were just bringing you left and right and up and down and it was it was a lot of fun they'd bring you, lean you into trees and then bring you back over and it was just it was fun like you felt like you're on a little roller coaster cruising through there So after that, we rolled back into camp. We got into the barbecue and all the fun activities of the evening. Dinner is always fantastic. We do a great job of cooking up food for everyone, and uh, the just hamburgers and hot dogs always comes out good. Potatoes always come out good, and we had some potato salad this time too, which was really good too. At Whiskey Trio. We had Whiskey Trio, which yeah. I know you and Diana found them um, down local by you guys at Lake. Lake yeah. And those guys were those guys. Were they were good. I mean, and they're cool just guys. they're just good old boys. Yeah, just I mean they were really cool yeah. guys too. They're just good old boys, like to pick and sing.
after that, we did some, some barrel racing. A little little special twist on what we did in West Virginia where we had uh, added some balls into the mix. Here they called it ball and barrel racing. Oh, okay. So, so you've got the bucket set up in kind of a triangle shape. So you're still weaving along the barrels, but you've got a ball. Okay. And as you weave around each barrel, you've got to drop a ball in the barrel. It, it added kind of an excitement feature, I mean, or, and, but it also added a safety feature in, so you don't have somebody racing, flopping, roll, you know, yeah. flopping and rolling over and right. making a mess of things. But. Right. because I, I missed one, I got two, and Alex did great with the driving portion, so I, I failed on my part, but. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I had an upgrade after that too, because that trader ran for like a newer model, and uh, the newer model kind of let me down a little bit, but he tried his best, man. He had a blast. He was over there like, this is great. <laughs> Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. <laughs> into the raffles. Raffle time. Everyone loves raffle time. You get free stuff. 9680. Yeah! Alright, who's ready to win a set of tires? Six. Bobby Cleveland. Who he won, um he won the tires. Helped with all the potatoes and ended up yeah, winning so, the tires. Uh, Red Dirt Jeep Club. They, uh, 15 Jeeps, I think. S'mores so big, it was like almost a thousand acres, and we only saw a little sliver of it, but what we did see was, it was just amazing. Like, so much fun, great wheeling, challenging. It was a fun time, and I would absolutely come back here again to see more. 
the wall. We hit some really fun obstacles, a lot of like, uh, skinny pedal obstacles, a lot of bouncing off stuff, which is not what we try and typically do. So that was a nice uh, change of pace here. Uh, a lot of sketchy stuff, a lot more bringing Ari out of her comfort zone with the skinny pedal. So overall, I was it was an awesome weekend for me. I had a great time. Yeah, I had a great time. Even with the rain. Yeah, even with the rain, didn't even. It didn't. It didn't really phase us. Anyway. I mean, and I don't think it really bothered anybody else either. I mean, it, everybody was smiling. Everybody had a good time. S'more, you know. Brandon and Michelle are always, you know, we both with both the local clubs here. We do a ton of stuff with those guys. Brandon's just an awesome guy. So if you ever want to join us on the Great American Crawl, all you have to do is go online to greatamericancrawl.com. You can sign up on there. Uh, we can answer any of your questions when you reach out. There's also a Facebook group online that you can join and um, all the events around there as well. So uh, we hope to see you out sometime. Thank you to S'more again for having us. And uh, maybe we'll be back. See you guys next time. Let me go fishing.